Hello everybody, you have tuned in to Eric Jose on Making a Murderer on YouTube. I cover virtually any aspect of Making a Murderer. I go over the evidence, the documents, the photos. So if you'd like, stay tuned and in the future I'll have many more videos besides the one you're about to see. Hello everybody. We're here today, I'm here today anyways, to talk about the you know decision today by the Seventh Circuit Court to deny uh, the motion to lift the stay on Brendan Dassey's, you know, release. So, anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and say a few things. Now, <clears throat> the thing is, is I don't think that this is necessarily a, a bad thing for Brendan. Obviously, it is. It makes it mean he has to be in there a little bit longer. But the thing is, is that the Seventh Circuit Court, I think, at this point, is just kind of acting out of self-interest in a way because they don't want if they were to release Brendan right now at this point in time then there would be just a bunch of attention a bunch of media spotlight on them and then they would be dealing with this on bank thing potentially so I think right now they just decided hold on a second let's just put the brakes on and let's see what goes on with this on bank you know motion that the state is going to be filing so I think it's just that I think once we find out what happens with the on bank then I think everything gets a lot clearer um, it's I mean you hear you see right here Jerry Buting also says it even a dissenting panel judge doesn't want to vote for on bank usually it's very disfavored it's not um, you know it's just not welcomed with open arms basically it's a it's a very very uh, unpleasant or you know just distasteful for the judges to do so but if it is then it will be months unfortunately so what it comes down to is everything right now is just hinging on this on bank in my opinion that's what's going on here everything's all hinging on the on bank if the on bank is granted we're looking at months if the on bank is denied then we can see the 90 day clock start the day that it's denied so that's basically where it's at and I think you know everybody just you know like like Knight Rider says here chin up you know it's it, 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 it did it was very you know unpleasant news of course but let's just keep our chins up and you know Brendan's still in a very strong position he's still I mean he's now won twice on his habeas habeas position and from what all the legal experts like Jerry and and most people are saying is is that the Supreme Court of the United States is just not likely to take this case it's just not likely and especially when there's other law other law that they've decided on or other cases that they've decided on as precedent that pretty much apply and are directly you know parallel with the kind of what goes on in this case so this kind of further adds to the ridiculousness of you know Sh Sh Brad Schimmel's claims that that these judges you know created new law and when they made this decision and whatnot so and we know that's not true they like I said before have are reaffirming a prior Supreme Court judgment so anyways that's about it for tonight everybody uh, we'll see you next time if you haven't already please hit subscribe